Hi everybody, welcome to the Off the Grid Revolution. Uh, here we are in the greenhouse. It is uh, very late in the season. Most of the things outside have been uh, attacked by the frost and are um, now being pulled up. Um, and inside the greenhouse, there are things in transition, but there are also things that are continuing to, to develop uh, into more fruit. Like, check this out. We have flowers on our tomato plants. Uh, those ought to be, if we keep it warm enough in here, turned into fruit uh, later on this season. The parsley is still growing. It's uh, doing nicely. There are some plants that have got some cooties, some diseases, like this one. You can see the white on there. Uh, this needs to be taken out of the greenhouse. When you're gardening and you have plants that have any kind of disease whatsoever, one of the things you need to do is to take the whole thing and get rid of it. Get it out of the greenhouse. Uh, get it out of the garden. Um, when you pull up your tomato plants, your pepper plants, whatever, look at them and make sure that there's nothing diseased. And if there are, get them away from the garden. Get them out of there because the stuff will fall into the soil. Um, some things can fall into the soil and come back again next year. Some of the diseases that you have are caused by insects, and some of those insects actually lay their, um, uh, leave their eggs uh, on the plants, and some of them drop their eggs into the soil. Um, you need to change things. You can't just go with the same thing over and over again. Um, this pot, for instance, that I have down here that has a diseased plant in it, it's a lovely, lovely pot of soil, but the soil's going. I'll take that out of here and I'll put it somewhere where we need some fill in flower gardens because uh, that can be recycled to the same soil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can use I use it as fill dirt in places where I need extra soil. Okay. But I don't use it in places where I'm going to plant for eating again. Mm -hmm. um, that's just I'm just done with that. Uh, as you can see, we're going through other gardens in our garden. We're cleaning up the pots. Recycle everything you can for your garden. A lot of things people just throw away because they think they're too flimsy. Uh, we don't do that. These are like ultralight pots. We use them again, uh, over and over again. This is the fourth year these pots have been used. They're starting to fall apart a bit. We take two broken ones and put them together and plant them in. Works just fine. Works just fine. Um, we have some flowers that are coming up on some of the vines. These flowers will probably never get to the point where they bear good fruit. Um, you can see this pumpkin over there that's hanging down. Um, that's never going to get to the point where we can eat it. Um, but they're kind of cute, so I let them grow. And, but the flowers are edible. So we'll be eating flowers from the... Um, now, what place. do you do with them? How do you... How do I you... put them in salads. In salads? In salads. Yeah, I just toss them in salads. Okay, I've seen that done. Yeah, just toss them in salads. That's all I do with them. Um, we did a, a new planting of um, lettuce. Our minds are in the gutter again. Check this out, folks. A gutter full of lettuce. Oh, yeah. And because of the type of soil that we had, we're also going to get some extra lamb's quarter. This is my favorite green. I know I've told you guys about this at least three times before. I love lamb's quarter. It is so good. It's so tender um, and sweet. Um, if you look over here, we've got some pepper plants that are starting to bloom again. If we get lucky, we'll get some peppers off of those. This, this one bloomed about um, three weeks ago. That's, oh, wow. a three, that's a three week pepper. Not bad, huh? Not this bad. is fantastic. Um, so that's coming up. And it's keep... almost November. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm in I'm in clothes like looking like I'm cold in here, but I'm not. Uh, it's about what 40 degrees outside, and this says 70 in the greenhouse. And the only reason why it's a little on the um, the cool side out here, usually it's at 80, 80, 85 degrees in here. So we had the windows open to let some of the heat from here into the house, mm -hmm. and then at night heat from the house comes back into the greenhouse. So it's a transition of heat from there to here. Um, the only problem with that is that the greenhouse is a, is a moist environment and the house is a dry environment. And sometimes the house gets too moist okay. um, from this. Uh, once we cook, get the wood burner going, that will change because the wood burner takes all the moisture out of the house. It does a real good job doing that. Um, so we've got Tomato plants over here galore. Uh, they're still bearing fruit. You get down there, you can see a couple that are left. 
to cherry them. Oh, down yes, there. yes, yes. I just harvested. That's why there aren't very many um, vegetables around. Um, at some point, there will be like a major disaster in here, and everything will pretty much get killed from cold weather. That's mm -hmm. going to happen. Um, I'm hoping not till um, late December or January. Uh, if we keep it warming up in here, that'll be just fine. That'll work. Um, we have some spinach over here that we planted two weeks ago. Check this out. Another mind in the gutter. Spinach. And they aren't they, aren't they beautiful? Oh, they this are. Is, yeah. They are. So today I'm going to be harvesting some of this spin, uh, lettuce because uh, we planted it too thick. Th this was old seed, and when you plant old seeds, it's not this, uh, what I do is I plant them twice as many as you're supposed to, thinking that the germination rate will probably be half of what it should be mm -hmm. because they're old. Um, as it turned out, all of these were good seeds, so we got way too much, uh, too many plants in there. And I'll be uh, pinching off a bunch of these. I have never successfully transplanted lettuce plants. I just can't do it. No. I've heard people do, uh, but it's way too tender. I can't. Uh, we've been taking stuff out of the community gardens and bringing them back here to store. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to continue that process. So that's what's going on. And we're doing all of this while we're in, the, we're in the middle of a political campaign. We've got about 10 days until the election. And we're working on... Um, a community bill of rights. Uh, we stopped selling things from the garden to raise money for the community bill of rights and from the greenhouse for, for that same um, political action. Now uh, talk a little bit about the community bill of rights um, for the people outside of the Youngstown area. Okay, community bill of rights basically says that the community has rights to make decisions about what kinds of um, uh, things are in their community. In our case, it's uh, primarily fracking, but not just that. It's fracking and uh, radioactive waste and um, businesses that are uh, detrimental to the environment and to the people and to the economy. Um, Community Bill of Rights is designed to stop that kind of activity. Um, it's a, it's a pro-business kind of movement where we want clean environments, uh, so we want promoting clean energy and those sorts of things. It's basically the citizens' rights to choose. That's what the Community Bill of Rights is all about. Um, in earlier discussions uh, in, in the People's uh, Revolution. We've talked about um, uh, making signs. We have about 250 signs that we've made out of recycled materials. Out of all those 250 uh, signs we've gotten out, the total expenses so far is 60 bucks. So um, that's a, a, another recycling element of the, um, the revolution. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, that's kind of all I got for today. For the off the grid garden, uh, the off the grid revolution, um, we're going to keep uh, keep harvesting food. Now we're to the point now where we're just eating what we get, or uh, and we hold dinners uh, about once a week. Cook up a bunch of food that comes from the gardens and the greenhouses um, to people who are part of uh, part of the movement, part of the revolution. Great, fantastic! Thanks, everybody. Bye.